Tearing down the Zotac before we put it in the Octominer uh, rig. I'm gonna turn on some lights and we're gonna get started. All right, so what we got here, we got four screws. That's pretty much it holding this guy on. Gonna need to get some rubbing alcohol. I already got my thermal paste. I don't, I'm not gonna replace, I don't plan on replacing the thermal pads, but we might have to. And this is why my videos are out of order, if anybody was wondering. Is I only, I work on things when I have time. Like I'm currently working right now on the same laptop I'm using to monitor Hive. But I just publish it as soon as I possibly can. These Zotac GPUs seem to be a real problem child um, as uh, the reasoning for making my video. I don't like this PCB design. This this is stupid. This is so stupid right here. Okay, nothing else holding it on. Where's the fan connectors? Fan connectors, fan connectors. Underneath here, okay. Never seen that before. Let's just take them out just in case. Stupid design, really. Okay, one more. So three screws on the I.O. Four screws by the GPU core. Should move. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. There we go. Okay, very carefully. Pry these up. Black thermal pads, huh? All right, VRM thermal pads fell back down. We're good there. I mean, I don't know what the watts per meter can. Wow, that's three mil, bro. That's three mil thick. Holy smokes, three mil thick on the front. I never seen that before. I'm used to seeing that on the back side. It might be two and a half. Do and a half. Mm. Mm. It feels like coffee. I don't know what that is. Huh. I mean, the thermal pads look good still. Um, memory thermals look fine. There's no thermal pads on the back side of the P. No, there is. There's memory thermal pads. Let's see if you can see. Uh, I'm going to have to move it in such a way because I can't see what you guys are seeing. But there are thermal pads on the back side of this. So, I mean, everything looks good. Um, only thing I could think of is that because this card is shorter and it wasn't sitting on a bar, I had a GPU uh, retention bracket but it was kind of dangling or leaning down. So this was sitting like this on the, on the frame. I wonder if, you know, there was some sort of issue where this was bending out, you know, like it was going like that and pulling on the PCB here. I don't see any broken transistors, resistors, anything too crazy. which was my biggest concern. I don't know why this card's acting up, but we'll just replace the thermal paste and 
put it in the Octominer X12. If that Octominer uh, crashes or something or has issues, then I know it's this GPU specifically because everything else works and I got another 3060 Ti in the way. I like to use this tool to clean up stuff very carefully without ripping off the SMDs or transistors or anything like that. Because the stuff is so dry, you should be able to easily get everything off of the die slash uh, heat sink. Look how easy this is. And then you just take some rubbing alcohol and that's that.